Well, I guess we'll pull it all the way out because we are not moving. All right. Sheet is out. Hey, we're moving. We're sailing, guys. You're watching Florida Man TV. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Man TV. I am Steve and I'm going to be running this uh, Hobie Adventure Island under sail for the first time. Now I have picked a fabulous day. It's very light wind, so no heavy action speed runs for you, but that's actually pretty good because for your first time, you know what I mean? You want to make sure uh, that I know what's going on and do everything a little bit slower. So we got everything set up. Again, I'll do a full setup video for you guys some other time. But uh, let's get out on the water and see what we can do. <laughs> ah, and the wet butt. All right. All right, we're gonna paddle on out here so that we can get the mirage drive down and go somewhere a little more private while i'm paddling out here guys i am going to leave the tramps in for now i might beach and put them out later but i want to be able to uh, paddle to get myself out of trouble and that kind of stuff uh so we're gonna leave the tramps up for this run, at least for now. Oh, and I gotta pull my pants down here. I know it probably looks funny, guys, to uh, have pants out here in Florida, but one, it's not really that hot, and two, I got my legs burnt pretty good yesterday out on the lake, so I decided to wear pants today just to prevent that from happening again. And my butt water has warmed up, so that's good. Let's see, how deep are we here? Still can't really drop the Mirage Drive, I don't think. A little bit further, we'll give it a shot. I got more GoPros lined up for you guys today, so hopefully they don't come off their little sticky mounts and fall in the water. I have a habit of losing GoPros. Looks like we're good. I don't think we're touching the bottom. Let's drop our, drop our rudder down lock our rudder i know you can't see anything i'm doing guys but lock our rudder down and we're gonna try and make an about face here all righty well i'm gonna pedal out here into a little more open area and then i will try and toss the sail out a little bit and let's see what happens until then, I'm going to sign off and uh, get out here a little bit. Be back when I go to put the sail up. Okay, we're going to point into the wind like we're supposed to, get out of this channel a little bit. And we're going to put the sail up for the first time and see what happens. So first we got to drop our dagger board in because you can't sail without a dagger board. and drop that guy down I don't know I guess it's supposed to clip back here probably that makes sense that can go in here okay guys we're gonna point into the wind here we're gonna lock our drive back I'm gonna leave the drive installed for now just uh, in case I need it. And uh, let's go pull the main sheet out, see what happens. Now there's like hardly any wind, so I don't know. We're gonna pull the sheet out a little bit. We're on a close reach. Well, I guess we'll pull it all the way out because we are not moving. All right, sheet is out. Hey, we're moving. We're sailing, guys. Look at that. A little bit of wind. Oh, we're picking up some speed now. 
So we're on a close reach here. I've got the sail trimmed pretty much all the way in for this close reach. Look at that. Boy, these things are pretty easy to sail, aren't they? Now I'm gonna try and come about because there's a sandbar up here and I think we can clear it, but I don't know exactly how deep it is. So let's try a tack and see what happens there. We'll loosen the sheet a little bit. We will tack, which is turning into the wind. The sail comes across. The sail has grabbed the other side. And we are now sailing this direction. Well, 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 pretty sweet. Trim the sail up a little bit. All right, now again, guys, we're not going very fast because we don't have too much wind. Wind might pick up a little bit, but uh, for now, we don't have much wind. And, uh, but we're moving along. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Oh, all right, trim the sheet. Yeah, I got some luffing wind change, wind shifted. There we go. Wind shifted. We got to get a little speed so we can tack again and go back that way. There we go. Keeling over a little bit. We'll let a little sheet out since we're on a beam reach right now. Pretty freaking sweet, guys. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Yeah, my telltales are telling me that I'm doing it wrong because one of them is blowing backwards. We're going to tack. Let's tack. Keep tacking. Pull the sheet in a little bit. And we're going to do a beam reach kind of out of the channel here. See what we can do as far as getting a little speed. My wind died. Let us sail out a little bit. There we go. I'm looking at the telltales up here, guys. Let me see if I can angle you up. So if you can see the sail, the telltale is just kind of hanging there. And uh, I need it to move in order to uh, show that I've got wind and movement. So we have lost our wind. But we will trim the sheet all the way in then since we've lost our wind and try and get some forward motion here. We're moving a little bit, you know, we're slowly moving here. But uh, I would like to go a little bit faster than floating. I can always combine with pedal drive, but I want to sail. And so we're just kind of floating along here. We're getting a little bit of wind because I can... I can turn the boat so we're moving ah here we go a little wind there's a little wind man this is pretty fun this is pretty fun even though we're not moving <laughs> i mean we're moving but we're not moving any kind of fast but this is pretty sweet i can just kick back here yeah we lost our wind again Maybe I can try doing a broad reach. Yeah, we're getting shallow. I'm going to try a broad reach, see if I can get across the channel here. I'm not worried to do a broad reach right now because, or even a run almost, because uh, I don't have much wind, so I don't think I can get in much trouble here. But let's see if we can get into some deeper water. I'm pretty sure this dagger board would pop up if I... Uh, flapping, sh flapping sail. That means we got a trim. Um, anyway, I was saying I think the dagger board would probably pop up. It just kind of sits down in the slot. I don't know if you can see here. It sits down in there. But uh, I don't want to take any chances running aground. We're on a beam reach again. I've been using this terminology. Let me explain in case you guys are not familiar with it. 
if the wind is coming this way, which it is, a close reach would be 45 degrees into the wind. That's close reach. A beam reach is 90 degrees, and then a broad reach is going kind of downwind. And then finally, if you're going the exact same direction as the wind, that's called a run. And that's important because you've got to change your sail trim to match that. One, for speed, and two, uh, so that you don't capsize like a normal boat, right? Right now, I'm on a beam reach, which means the wind is coming directly across at me. I might be slightly downwind, slightly on a, a broad reach. But I've got the Akas and Amas here, so I'm not really worried about capsizing, but a normal boat in heavy winds, it tries to blow it over. That's where you see these racing sailboats kind of keeling over real far. Uh, anyway, that's a quick terminology. We'll do some sailing stuff later on, but I'm going to try and get out of the channel here where I've got some open water and maybe some more wind and see if we can get going a little bit. This is pretty fun. So if we look up at our telltales now, let me see, uh, now we're moving. You see our telltale is going kind of almost straight across the sail. That's what we want. That's showing that we're getting forward motion. And as you can see, we're starting to move along a little better here. Let's see if I let a little more sail out. If I am on a, uh, now, I want to bring the sail in a little bit. We're cruising along pretty good now, guys. Trim our sail up. I'm going to cut into the channel just a bit because we've got this sandbar and I don't know how deep it is. Besides the fact that there's a motorboat coming, I am a sailing vessel and I have the right of way no matter my size. So we're going to cut right across this channel marker here. See, you might have been able to see kind of how good we're moving along. Let a little sail out. Handles the wake pretty good. Getting a little water over our bow, that's good. I want to test that hatch and see how the self bailing's working. We're in a decent wind here. Well, decent calm wind. There we go, getting a little wind. Oh! <laughs> I just lost me hat. Almost lost it overboard. I can kind of tell where the wind's coming from, but I'm not 100%. Let's see if we can get a little more speed by reefing this sail in a little bit. Oh yeah, it works. Bring the sail in a little on that close reach. And we're moving along nice now. <laughs> I could probably pull this Mirage Drive out and put it in the back sometime. Now that I kind of know how easy this thing is to sail. And it's easy to sail, guys, if you know your, your points of sail, right? If you kind of know the basics of sailing and how it works, man, this thing's pretty simple. All right, guys, I am going to sail along here. I'm going to try uh, tacking and jibing and stuff like that. And, uh, I'll be back with some more, I guess, uh, action if the wind picks up. And if not, I'll be back with just some, uh, some insight here. See you in a minute. All right, we lost a little bit of wind here. I'm going to try a jibe. This will be the first jibe sailing and uh, in the Hobie here. So we're going to try a jibe, which is turning downwind and... Uh, supposed to be faster and you got to work your uh, sail a little bit more so let's try to jibe and go back the other direction jibing no 
not too difficult again i don't have real heavy winds guys so uh you know it's not uh <laughs> not real difficult when you're barely moving you're not in too much danger of uh having anything crazy happen but we just turned around to go back the other direction there and that was a downwind jibe Now, if I let sail out until my telltale is straight, that should give me my maximum power. This is freaking awesome, man. <laughs> I love this thing. All right, guys, I'm going to sail along here, and uh, I'll be back with you guys sometime. Well, we're moving along pretty good here guys and I'm noticing a problem with my trampolines dragging so I'll hit a wave and it'll drag across that trampoline there and boom like really slows me down and it splashes me too which is okay but uh, we might uh, want to go beach somewhere and try and put the trampolines out and see how that works out but you can kind of see we're we're out in the bay here it's so a Choctaw Bay in Florida. I can never remember the full name. It's like Choctaw Hassie or something like that, but uh, everyone calls it the Choctaw Bay. So uh, yeah, we might uh, go try and find a little beach or something like that and uh, put these, these trampolines out. All right, well, let's try a tack. Tacking hard into the wind. And we've caught the wind again and we are now tacking over to the beach Woo! we're moving now worried about losing my paddle because I don't have it in the paddle sleeve right here <laughs> and now it's on the uh, water side I had to keep an eye on it I think it floats though so no big deal oh, I lost my head again and I actually lost it in the water so let's tack back and see if we can get my hat. <laughs> I lost me hat, guys. I need a better hat or something or put it backwards. Where'd it go? It might have sunk. Oh, there it is. All right, now we're going to jive around to try and get it. Let's see if I can grab it. Boom, I got it. Man, am I expert or what? Look at this. All right. <laughs> Back to the mission of getting to that beach. All right, I thought I would show you guys real quick. Thought I'd show you guys real quick how you stop one of these things. So we're gonna pull our main sheet up so it's loose. We're going to grab our furling line here. We're going to point into the wind. And when our sail is flapping here, we're going to go ahead and reef it in. We got our sail reefed in. There we go. And now that our sail's reefed in, we can pull up our center board. You guys can't see, I know. Pull our center board up, which was actually stuck in the sand. So uh, that, center, that dagger board goes down pretty far. I said center board, it's a dagger board. But it went down uh, pretty far. So we did run aground, guys. We ran aground. And uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unlock our rudder here. It's over here. We're gonna unlock our rudder in case it's touching. And we're going to, yep, pull our rudder up because we are really shallow. And we're gonna go ahead and lock our Mirage Drive too because I could tell when I tried to pedal, it touched the bottom. So 
we lock that and that's why we have this paddle right here because oh yeah we're shallow as heck i could just jump out of being knee deep water and uh we're gonna paddle ourselves into shore all right guys i got the trampolines out let's see if that helps with my drag a little bit on this next sail here today and when i was pulling the kayak in the handle finally gave loose here so got to order a new kayak pole strap or pole handle but no big deal gonna make it hard to load it on the trailer but uh, for now it'll be okay so let's get back out there now camera angles you're only gonna have the forward and the chest camera on this next little section that's because when I put the trampoline up, I realized I need an extension for this. This ain't going to work here. All you're going to see is the bottom of the trampoline. So we're going to take that GoPro off of there. And, uh, you know, you kind of get the idea. So if anything crazy happens or we get some good wind or something, some action, I'll uh, show you that. And then we'll wrap this video up. But I'm having a blast, man. Having a blast. All right, we're doing it. Let a little sail out. We are going to be heading a little downwind here. A little more sail out here. Keeping up with these jet skis over here. So I can't be doing too bad, guys. <laughs> well, guys, we're out here in the middle of the bay. I'm gonna sail to the mid bay bridge and then turn around and come back. We got a lonely pelican floating around over here. Anyway, back to sailing. We got a medium breeze. I mean, we're clipping along okay. I don't know what speed we're doing here, but we're clipping along all right. And uh, I just wanna go for a nice one direction sail, turn around one direction back and just uh, well, let's break through this guy's wake here. That's a little semi-interesting for you guys. Let's uh, turn into the wind a little. We will bring our sheet in a little bit. Telltales are good. And we'll go 45 degrees over this wake. Whee! <laughs> Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. We'll go back to a broad reach here to get to the bridge. We'll let our sail out until our telltales tell us that we're good. Reef it in. Bring it in a little bit. Not reef it, sorry. I'll bring the sheet in a little bit. Come on, telltale. Let me... Tell me what you want to do. All right. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, continue on to the bridge. There we go. I had to let it out some on this broad re or beam reach sorry i said broad reach we're on a beam reach anyway onwards to the bridge by the way update the uh a little less drag here when we've got the trampolines out when we're sailing because they're not dipping down in the water so a little bit better there all right continuing on Thought I'd pop on and give you guys a little update here. We're making progress, but uh, it is kind of difficult to keep this kayak on course. Uh, you know, in a bigger sailboat like I had with my grandfather, you would point it that way, and once you got the rudder set just a little bit to counteract the wind, you would go pretty much straight. But uh, this thing here, if I hit a wave, it'll kind of shift. I keep moving the rudder over and it'll still kind of shift so you can't really uh set it and forget it type of thing you kind of always got to be correct in your course but it's a sport kayak so if you're trying to take a nap it's probably not the vessel to do that in <laughs> but uh we're getting closer to the bridge here but just thought i'd give you an update you might be able to see how we're veering off to the right i'm no hands on the rudder here but it will slowly keep turning you see so you've always got to be correct in your course like so hope that comes in on camera anyway see you at the bridge all right update for you guys i am not going to the bridge uh call it a failure if you want we're i don't know still a little clip away from it here but the temperature seems to be dropping a little bit 
and I'm getting, of course I'm wet, I'm in a Hobie kayak, and I'm getting a little chilly here, so I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and tack, and I'm going to swing back around and head back into Baytown. You know, I've had a lot of fun here, and uh, it's great. Oh, look at this pelican. Look at it. Can you see that guy? There he goes. Go pelican, go. <laughs> anyway, my feet are cold. My legs are kind of cold. It's getting a little chilly out here. It's only like 74 degrees, which I know for you northerners watching, you're like, oh my God, you know, what are you complaining about? But with the breeze, of course, that you need to sail, it's a little chilly. So I'm a tack and I'm going to go ahead and head back and I'm going to come out on a warmer day, hopefully next week. So let's go ahead and tack this. Try and get a little speed here for our tack. A little speed and tacking. All right, guys, I'll save you the mundane sailing in one direction video, and I'll see you back at the beach for a little outro. All right, guys, we made it back. What a great, uh, great sail. Little chilly at the end of the day, but we're back and that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it going out sailing today. Can't wait for some warmer weather where we can go out all day and, you know, not be chilly with the breeze. But until the next video, I will thank you guys for watching this one and I'll see you on the next one.